Okay, here's a couple ways you can communicate with the users on your particular Moodle. If it's just at a course level, you can go into the said course through the eyes of an admin or a, a teacher. Participants, uh, click the participants via the people block. In this case, let's select all participants. That could be teachers and students. With the selected, we will send a message. Okay, we get to preview that and that is then sent to the selected users. The other way to go beyond a course level means of communication with your users via text. Um, you can come in here to the site administration block. This is purely through the eyes of the administrator. Your system may only have a few of those. So you go users accounts, bulk user actions. You can run a variety of filters if you're looking to send messages to people by a specific uh, location like a city or town or a country, or when they first or last access, for example, or by name. We'll leave that. Let's just presume we want to send a message to uh, all users in this case. So it includes everybody, admin, students and teachers. Add to selection. What we can do down here, again, with those selected users, we could send them a message. And that is done. Now that sends a text-based message to these users. Um, if they aren't currently logged into the system, they're not online at that point in time, they will receive the notification via their email inbox, whatever email was uh, designated uh, during the account creation process for the Moodle. What I've just done is log out. Now I'll come back in as one of these students just to give you an idea what they would see in any case. So a window would pop up. That's on the presumption that their browser is accepting pop-ups or this your Moodle site is a trusted site. And you can see the messages that came through there. Okay, you can add that person as a contact and view the message history at a later stage. So that's an instant means of communication between one person and another. It's a private means of communication that's all logged and recorded. And as I said, if the user is not lo logged in, the message, instant message gets piped to their inbox. They can click the link, log into the system, and in any case, then see uh, this message like so as it pops up um, in a window.